let us wind up this quickly so if i use n sin i is a constant it implies that n glass the sine of i which is c is got n air the sine of r but r is 90 degrees in agreement with the critical angle so n glass the sine of c would be equal to 1 times the sine of 90 but the sine of 90 is also 1 and n air is also so our n glass the sine of c will be equal to 1 and therefore the sine of c will be equal to 1 over n glass or as i've indicated here n glass will be equal to 1 out of sine c this is the same expression and that expression can be used to find a critical angle um, implying that if our n glass is 1.5 then we can find critical angle by taking sine c as 1 out of 1.5 and therefore our critical angle will be the arc sine of 2 out of 3 which will give you approximately 41.81 degrees which we normally round off close to to 42 the critical angle of glass therefore is approximately 42 degrees um i will break off here and uh, i will be sending you a few numbers to try out on uh, this concept of critical angle total internal reflection definitions conditions and calculations of critical angle i want to thank you and I remind you that we shall be having an interaction on BBS TV as usual at 3 p.m. for a Mathematics 2 lesson. God bless you.